In this video, we're going to see a very, very powerful aspect of SQL, which is how to join tables. Okay, so there are four different types of joins um, in SQL. An inner join, and in an inner join, it'll take uh, rows common to all the tables you're trying to join, and the attributes are taken from the leftmost table. So there's a, uh, when you join tables, you have to think of a left table, and then other tables on the, on the right, so to speak. An outer join left, so a left outer join. Uh, this will take all rows contributed by the left table. An outer a right outer join, take all tables contributed by the right table. And an outer, a full join, which will just take all um, all variables. But we're going we're gonna to see that in an example um, now. So first of all, what we need is some example, an example data set. So we're just going to write that in really quickly um, using the card statement. So mat008 dot dogs. We're going to create a data set called dogs. And in this data set, I want the name of the owner. It's going to be a string and the name of the dog. Um, so cards follows there. So Jeff is one owner and he has a dog called Rufus. Janet has a dog called Sam. Paul doesn't have a dog, so we're going to put um, a full stop. So full stop is uh, Sass's way of knowing a missing string. And Joanna, who also does not have a dog. Semicolon, and then a quit. So if I just run that, it can be a run as well, it doesn't have to be a quit. Um, da -da 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 -dum. I run that, go to my libraries, MAT008, go to dogs, Jeff, Jan, Paul, Joanna, Rufus, okay. So let me just do another data set. <coughs> data MAT008.cat. So let's see if there are any cat owners around here. So cat owner, name of the cat. And so who have we got? Well, Jeff has a cat called Kitty. Um, Paul doesn't have a cat either. Um, Joanna has a cat called Tinkerbell. Um, and I have a cat called Chick. I also have a cat called Duck. Um, but for the purpose of this example, we're just going to have one data set. Semicolon and a run statement. Alright, so if you're familiar with all this and this is nothing new, we're just, just creating some data sets to be able to, to play around with the examples. Okay. So first off, let's do an inner join. So proc SQL, nothing new, create table, merged table. So I'm creating a table called merged table as. Now I want to select from, this is what's new. So I'm going to create something called a dot. So the table a, and we'll, we'll see what that is. And I want from table a the variable owner. I want from table A the variable name, but I want to call that dog name. And then from table B, I want the variable name, but I want to call that cat name. Let me just make this a bit bigger so everyone can see. Um, oh, no, shouldn't be a semicolon there, should there? Right, um, so, and this is where the inner join is relatively straightforward, mat008.dogs as a, so that is telling it that wherever it sees an a here, read mat008.dogs, uh, and mat008.cats as b. And now this is the merge statement, where a.owner equals b.owner. A quit statement to finish that off. And so that is our um, our data sets there. And if we go back here, we see what it's taken. So this is our left data set here. The dogs was on the left, right? It was the first one. And so what it's done is simply taken all the ones that are common to both, so Jeff, Paul, and Joanna, because Janet is not in the second data set. 
and then it's just taken all things. It's renamed the variables nicely. So we've got Jeff, who's got Rufus and Kitty, Paul, who's got missing and missing, and Joanna, who doesn't have a dog but has a cat called Tinker Bell. And if I um, if I change the the settings, I can make that longer. But for the purpose of this example, that's fine. Um, right. So that's an inner join. We can also have an outer join. So proc SQL create table merged table as and so now it's more or less the same thing select a dot owner a dot name as dog name b dot name as cat name and so then we say from mat008 dot dogs as a and then we say right join uh, sorry let's do a left join first left join mat008 dot cats as b alright so this is going to be the join statement on a dot owner equals b dot owner semicolon and equip semicolon. So if we run this, we should recalculate our merge table. Let's take a look. So again, this is the left um, table. This is the right table, just because of the way we've put in our code. First of all, we'll see that it's 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 alphabetized these, but that's that's not that important. And so this is a left join. So it's taken all the variables from the left table. So we've got um, Jeff, Janet, Paul, and Joanna. Jeff, Janet, Paul, and Joanna. Um, so as previously we didn't have Janet in the inner join, but now we do. And it's just taken all all the variables through. So we, um, that's relatively simple. So now if I change this to be a right join, it'll take the variables from the right side. Okay, so it's taken. Jeff, Paul, Joanna, and Vince. Jeff, Paul, Joanna, and Vince. But Vince does not appear. And the reason Vince does not appear, if we come back to this this code here, was at no point do I want B dot owner. Okay? And then finally a full join. What that'll do is just take all the variables from both tables. Okay, so it's taken Jeff, Paul, Joanna, Vince, and Janet. Janet, Jeff, Paul, Janet, Jeff, Joanna, Paul. And then what we've got there is Vince, but again, we're not displaying B.owner. We're only displaying, displaying A.owner. And that's more or less all you need to know when it comes to um, doing joins of tables within SQL. And that's how you join a table uh, in SQL. And importantly, it's how you join a table with SQL in SAS.